Hello, welcome to this short video in which I'm going to use Ansible to connect to a Cisco wireless LAN controller. Now, a lot of people struggle to get Ansible to connect to a wireless controller as it's not an iOS device. There are a few things that need to be done a little bit differently. So I'm going to step through what they are now. So let's log in to the wireless controller so you can see what I have. Now this is a virtual wireless controller. But the operation will be the same for any physical uh, wireless control that you're using. I have one access point here connected. This is in my home lab and this is AP1 in the spare room. So that's the controller that we're going to be connecting to. And I also have got on here the, the admin and I've got a username Roger which we're going to use to connect in. Now, within my Ansible, let's step through what you need to do. Now, this might be um, just me, or I don't know what it is, but for some reason, I cannot get a wireless controller to connect. Uh, this is also on a physical appliance that I did on a client, um, unless you just put the IP address. So, this works. Um, so, just putting the IP address in here. And not if I put in the Ansible host, it seems to not want to do it. So I've just got the IP address of my controller in the host file. Uh, that is in a group called WLC. And then there are a few things that you need to do. You need to use the um, provider uh, option for credentials for the wireless controller. So in my group vars folder in all.yaml, I've got legacy credentials. And then this is picking the host, uh, the Ansible inventory host name, <clears throat> and the username Roger, and this is my password. So that is defined in all.yaml. I've also got a wlc.yaml, which just defines that the Ansible connection is local. Now, as of version 2.6 um, in Ansible, it stopped supporting the network CLI or for Eros. So you have to use the Ansible connection of local. And then the final piece in the jigsaw is the playbook that we're going to use. And that again is very simple. Um, I'm just pointing hosts to the wireless LAN controller group. I'm using the Eros command module. And then this is where people f struggle is the provider. So you have to use the provider. Now you could define the credentials in this playbook, um, but we're just referencing the legacy credentials, which Ansible will by default look in the group vars and it will try and find if it's not in the all. You could define it in the WLC, but you know, for other devices I've got it in here. So we have the legacy credentials here and these are the password credentials that will be used when the playbook connects to the wireless controller. So let's skip in to my Ansible and we run the playbook. Ansible dash playbook ap.yml. This will connect to the wireless controller and if successful, we'll get green. So yes, that worked. So I did get a connection to the wireless controller and the show AP summary uh, command was run, but we didn't see that because that's as far as I've got on the playbook. But if we do a minus VBV on this, you can see the full output of the play. And this should come back with the show AP summary. Here we go. So you can see here, I've got the number of APs is one, and this is the AP spare room. So you can take this and expand the, the playbook for whatever you need um, the actual commands and the extras in the playbook are not the tricky bit the tricky bit for this is actually getting Ansible to connect to a controller um, that's also something to do with the fact that you you log in and you have to do an admin and then you type the password again when you get to the second prompt uh, which this all handles so just to recap what I did to connect Ansible to a Cisco wireless controller is I just defined the IP address in the host file. The playbook is using provider in here. 
and I'm referencing some credentials which I've got in all.yaml. So these are my credentials and in a specific wlc.yaml in the group vars I'm also defining the Ansible connection as being local. So that's it and that is how I connect Ansible to a Cisco wireless controller. Um, I hope you found this video useful and if you'd like to know more about these and be notified when I post a new video then please hit that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.